Hi everyone. In this video, we will talk about campaign objectives. What are different type of campaign objectives? What is their use? For example, like if you want to generate leads, whether we want to have call to our ads, whether we want to have a promotion of our app, app installation, whether we want to promote our YouTube videos. So there are multiple types of campaign objectives, and we will understand each of single, uh, each one of them. so that we can have a better understanding of campaign objective and we can proceed further to create a successful ad campaign so i believe we have gone through earlier videos where we have talked about the interface of google ads the keyword planner and now we are proceeding to the campaign objective and in, in the upcoming videos we will talk about different type of ad and how to create a successful ad campaign so let's dive into my screen and understand how what is campaign objective and what is the better use of it in this video we'll talk about uh, the campaign how to create a campaign how to select the objective and what are the different type of objectives that will help you in achieving your goal your ads goal so i believe that you have uh, gone to, uh, gone through the earlier videos from uh, introduction to uh, google ads interface and the keyword planner so that we can now uh, we can now proceed further and basically you must have an idea about how google interface is and how it actually works so uh, let's start with our campaign creation so let's click on new campaign okay once we click on the new campaign the uh, google id is showing uh, for an objective correct what's our campaign objective we have to choose among the uh, objectives they are showing us so let's understand that first one by one okay so what he is saying choose your objective select an objective to tailor your experience to the goals and setting that will work best for your campaign okay so here are eight objectives starting from the first sales sales is here for driving sales online in app by phone or in store okay second is leads get leads and other conversions by encouraging customers to take action third is website traffic get the right people to visit your website fourth is product and brand consideration encourage people to explore your products or services fifth is brand awareness and reach reach a broad audience and build awareness sixth is app promotion get more installs interactions and pre registration for your app seventh is local store visits and promotions eighth is create a campaign without a goals guidance we'll use this one uh, basically for when we'll be promoting our youtube channel or when we'll be uh, working with youtube promotion so these are the uh, basic objective these are the Our uh, main objectives. The Google Ad is asking us that what's your main objective for your ads. So let's start one by one and understand that. Let's click on sales. So go, uh, for your for your conversion goals, for your improving your conversion goals, Google track your objective. Google track your conversion goals. So goals may be add to cart. For example, if someone has added any product to the cart, then the goal is completed here so google will track down that uh, goal and he uh, he'll track down that goal and accordingly calculate the conversion rate or monitor your uh, customers that how they are behaving over the website second is contact third is other fourth is phone call leads like for example you have seen ads or the uh, search engine that some ads have a call extension so, so when someone will click on the call extension according to the ads uh, your conversion is done so he'll track down that uh, conversion he'll track that uh customer calculate the conversion cost they may depend on submit lead forms for example like we are driving traffic to an page and in that page we are asking customers for the details so when he'll uh, when he'll uh, fill up the details and click on the submit form it's like an uh, it's like an lead for us that will be the uh, that will be counted as in conversion so these are the conversion goals and these are the conversion sources for example for add to carts we need a website phone calls there is a direct option option for extension there is a direct option of extension for the call ads for leads again we need a landing page or website okay. so these are the options here so you can uh, you can uh, you can get an idea about what's your goal uh, what's your ad goal is for example like if uh, if you want to if we want to drive traffic to the e-commerce website that is selling product we'll click on sales we can click on uh, two options sales and website traffic depends that what you are tracking if you are tracking your uh, orders if you are tracking sales by the order you can go to the convert you can click on the sales page otherwise if you are tracking the uh, number of people how many people have visited your product or have seen your product 
you can click on the brand traffic sorry website traffic okay i hope i hope you understand yeah so so in this way uh, you can you can identify your campaign objective for example like if if we are running an ad if we are running ad for an app and we want we want to promote that app so we want we are going to track the um, conversions according to the installs or the installment app engagement or pre registration uh, here are the options for that if you want to promote an if we have an app and we want to promote it you can click on the campaign type for app campaign subtype can be app installs app engagement app pre registration that's for the Android only at, at the moment, but soon it will come for the iOS also. Then we can select our platform, look up your app. We can just track our app or we can just trace our app here. We can name the campaign name accordingly and then we can click on continue. Similarly, if you want to get leads for, for example, like real estate or any of the any of the business who lead uh, who need leads for their revenue or sales. So we can click on the leads here. He'll ask for that how you are going to track the leads that uh, if someone calls if someone fills fill up the form or if if you want any further details so we need to select the conversion goal we need to take action for that and we will proceed with the continue option same if we want to drive website traffic for example like we have a news website and currently there are or uh, there is news around for the election or election results so if we have uh, if we are having a news website we want to promote our article so we want to drive traffic to that particular page so in that particular case we can uh, we can target the, uh, that particular keyword for example like elections we can target for example like uh, election 2022 so whenever people will, when will people will be searching for elections 2022 uh, our blog link will be appearing there so we can drive traffic to that link in this way we can we can exactly uh, look for what people are looking for what they want to read or study about and we can drive it we can drive that traffic to our website or blog same the fourth option is for product and brand consideration so if we have any product or if any uh, such if we have the product or services and we want people to look over that we want people to uh, go and check it over there to have a look to uh, check out what services we are offering so we can again use website traffic also and product and brand consideration also so depending on what your goal is for example like if if i'm creating ad for sandy media and we are we are targeting for the people who are looking for the google ads expert we are going to target the keywords accordingly like uh, i have already explained in the keyword planner video uh, i'll share the link you can check it over there so we will target the keywords accordingly i'll select my campaign type from uh, for example like leads and i'll create a campaign accordingly so uh, in leads i am going to uh, make my conversion goals uh, to uh, I am gonna make my conversion goal to the call extension. So whenever people will be looking for the expert Google Ads expert, our, our website will be popping, our ad will be popping up there, and there will be a call extension to connect with us. Similarly, if, uh, for example, like if you don't want to connect over the call, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, create uh, change my objective to the website traffic. So whenever people will be looking for these uh, similar keywords like Google Ads expert, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, drive them to my landing page of google ads expert and there i'm gonna give the option of scheduling a schedule a strategy call so in this way uh, we are going to track our conversion goal and in this way we'll be defining our objective for the website so according to the need according to your ad or your company or your goal what your goal is if you want to drive traffic traffic whether you want to get leads you want to get called directly like for the uh, for doctors majorly the call extension is a uh, good option for driving traffic because if someone is having a problem for example like if someone is looking for the dentist he'll type like uh, uh, ben Des, best dentist near me so just uh, looking over the ads he's gonna click on the call extension because he want to call directly and to take the appointment he's not looking uh, just for going over the website or reading something and then he'll be going there maybe but chances are frequently low so we have to identify our objective accordingly and then we can uh, create our ad the eighth option is that uh, we don't want to uh, go with the recommendation of Google. We want to uh, just go with our own choice. So we can without a goals guidance. Now he'll uh, now Google will ask for campaign type. Uh, what here Google exactly mean by campaign type is uh, these are the different types of ad: search ad, performance max ad, display ad, shopping ad, video ad, ad for an app, smart ad, local ad, discovery ad. 
So these are the different types of ad. As we are here not going with the Google recommendation, like when Google is asking for what's your campaign objective or your goal uh, for the ad. So he have he has given us the uh, choice of seven options. He has given us the seven options to choose from. But when we don't want to proceed with that, we have an option for eighth option that is for a create a campaign without a goals guidance. So here we have the power. Here we have the option to choose accordingly. For example, like uh, if you want to go for the search ad, these are the different types of ad I'm going to cover in the upcoming videos. So when I'll be uh, creating a video for the ads type, basically you, you will have a good idea about that. So it will not be, uh, there will not be any problem. So you can relate accordingly. But still uh, for just explaining the options for the campaigns type, campaign objective, uh, let's have a basic look, have, let's have a look over, there, over them. It is the search ad. Performance max ad, display ad, shopping ad, video ad, the ad for an app. If you want to engage your uh, viewers on the YouTube or if you want to show ad accordingly uh, to your YouTube audience, you can click on the video ad. If you want to, uh, if you want to run ad for, for YouTube or Gmail or Google Ad Partners, you can go for the discovery ads. If you wanna, uh, if you wanna create a smart ad. That uh, that runs over the Google uh, across the uh, across the web and manage accordingly by tracking your customers by tracking your uh, audience behavior. You can go for the smart ad. The performance max uh, ad is a new option, but uh, uh, there is an there is an a problem with the performance max ad is that you can't uh, edit the keywords later on. Yeah, we have we have already we have created an ad and there was an issue regarding that. Soon there will be an update and it will be uh, it will be all clear so you can edit with the keywords also so these are the cam these are the uh, ads type that when we when we go without the google's recommendation for the google guidance uh, these are the options uh, we get so uh, you can just uh, you can just get a fairly idea about that uh, what type of ad you want to create and what your ad objective is once you are uh, once you are done with your ads objective you can click on the uh, further options and then we can proceed to the ads creation because once our campaign objective is defined, this next step is of ads type, and then we'll be uh, moving further to the uh, ad creation for the for the successful ad creation. So just uh, look over the requirement, make a list that what sort of ad you want to create, what your ad objective is, and let's create an ad in the upcoming video. So till then, have a uh, look over the Google interface, practice it, and just master the tool because it's gonna be really beneficial for you.